So hello again, it's James from Dundee Science Centre. Now we've talked about how to tell whether a skull is male or female and we've talked about how to kind of roughly estimate whether they were an older person or a younger person. But what if you wanted to work out the height of a person? Well, we can do that as well. We can't do it with the skull though, so at least not on its own. So a better bone to use would be one of the long bones. So these are exactly what they say on the tent, just longer bones. Things like the humerus in your arm, or in this case, the femur, which is your thigh bone in your leg. Now, what the forensic scientist can do is measure the length of these bones, okay? So looking at this, I'm getting a length of about 44 centimeters. Now that on its own doesn't really tell us much. What we can do is use some mathematics, we can use an equation to work out roughly how tall this person would be. So I'm going to nip off now and I'm going to do my maths and my equation and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what my height estimate is. So I've applied my calculation to give us a rough idea of how tall this person was. Basically what I've done is I've measured the bone and then I've looked up a table that was produced by uh, forensic scientists, forensic anthropologists, um, and they've developed basically all of these mathematical equations that can be used to help work out how tall someone is. So I've taken the equation for the femur, I've put in my 44 centimetres and I've worked it out. We're getting a height, a stature, of about 161 centimetres, which works out roughly at about 5 feet 3 inches. So that's roughly how tall this person was.